moving forward. What's going on guys? Jay Parrish here. I'm really excited today to be able to talk to you about two new templated pages that we've shared with you and also going to show you how you can add those pages in yourself and customize them and do whatever you want and add them in various places in your site. Coldwell Banker for about a year now has had two awesome new tools called, one's called the Move Meter, where you can compare city to city where a client is deciding to move. So if they wanna, they're deciding between California and Florida, they can choose San Diego, California and Miami, Florida, and it compares a variety of different data sets, letting them know which place is the best for them to move to, or they can compare their own home to that. So that's really cool, that's called a Move Meter. The second one is the CV Estimate. This is a home value tool, very similar to a Zestimate that the clients are used to. But now on your actual Moxie site, they will be able to get their home value and then with a form below it to fill out, to reach out to you to get some more details on it. So two really great tools, very easy to get onto your site. And I wanna show you guys how to do that. So let's go ahead and jump in. So you would be start off on your Moxie homepage. You would go to my website which will then take you to your agent um, dashboard. So in order to get to the sites that we've added for you, you're gonna to go to site pages and all pages. And this is your menu structure and all the pages that are on your site. So however you have it laid out, it might look a little different than you see on the screen for mine. So we're gonna scroll all the way down here to the bottom. And there's gonna be two pages that have been added for you. And those are gonna mimic the same pages that are on coldwellbankerelite.com. These two particular pages are not editable, like you can't change them, but it's very simple for you to turn on and they're all ready to go with no work needed on your side, except for clicking two buttons and dragging them into the menus. I'm also gonna show you how you can create your own new page and add these in wherever you would like to have them. So if you don't wanna make any changes and you like the way they look, first of all, you can view them to see, um, and then you're just gonna click on show. So now those pages are visible in your menu section and you're just gonna take those pages and drag them, whoops, drag them to where you want them in your menu structure. So my home value, I'm gonna go take it underneath the cell tab here, and then uh, the buyer one, let me move myself over here. The move meter, I'm gonna put under the buy side, and you can you know decide wherever you wanna put those. I'm gonna do that. Scroll down to the bottom, and I'll hit publish. And those are now added to the menu structure of my site. You can go to a visit site. And now when you look in the menu system, we have a new one called my home value, which is really awesome. And this is kind of like the, you know, the Zestimate style, but more accurate coming from Coldwell Banker. It's all under your branding. They're going to get, they just put the address in and it's all populate here within this widget. And then as they scroll down, there's some um, language in here. And then there's a form that's going to have them directly contact you. So that was really awesome. And then under the buy, we have the move meter. And we had kind of previously talked to you guys about a workaround to get the move meter in it that didn't look as great and it was kind of embedding Coldwell Banker's site. So this is all under your site. You can see all mine, it's under Fredericksburg now. And um, they can compare the two cities, city to city right here, and it'll all populate right there for you. Okay, so these two pages that we have as it is, there's no way to edit those. So everything is static the way it stays. So if you wanted to change any of the language down here or anything in here, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna go back to admin home, go back to your dashboard. And we're gonna go back to site pages and we're gonna go to add new. So essentially you're gonna be creating your own uh, move meter page or CV estimate page. So we want a custom page, hit submit. And you can name it whatever you'd like. We'll just name it move meter. I'm just going to put a two so I know the difference here. And then you want to click on builder. That's the second thing that you want to do. It's going to pop up an error on the screen. If you don't see it on my side, and then you're going to, it's fine to leave that page and you're going to be going to the Moxie builder. Some of you at this point might have done this for other templates, other things like that. So we're going to go, it automatically pulls this up, but we're going to click over here to templates. And we're going to click the drop down to brand templates. 
And then there's a bunch of templates in here that you can look through that Coldo Banker has created for us. Right here towards the top, we have three different CB estimate templates that we would like to use. So you can go through and sample whichever one that you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here. And it's just going to populate it right in the page for us. Oops, actually, we're doing the move meter this time. I picked the wrong one. So go back up here. And um, that's the, this is the same process for the CB estimate or for the move meter. So, But I accidentally chose the wrong one. Scroll down a little bit further to the move meter. So we have move meter one, move meter two, and move meter three, just depending on the layout that you would like. So I am going to choose two. And since I already put a template in there, I'm gonna replace the existing layout. So that's, that's the process you would do as you're testing those three to see what they, they look like. Now what you're gonna see on this side is you're not gonna see the actual widget populate. This looks correct, okay, everything is in here correct. When you actually go to publish the page and look at it live, which I'll show you, then it's all displayed for you. So we're gonna go down here and you can change this to whatever you'd like, but when you pull it in this way, it's now saying contact me instead of contact us as a per the agent, but you can change any of the language in here you would like. And then it's telling you to insert your contact form. So I'm gonna go up here to plus, modules, standard modules, I wanna change that to widgets. And then I'm gonna grab the contact me module. I'm gonna drop it right below this pink insert contact form here. And you wanna put in whatever information that you would like for them to have, if you want it to be required. I like for the name to be required and the phone number to be required. You can decide if you want the interest to be on there and then you're gonna hit save. And you wanna make sure that we go and delete this insert contact form. So I'm gonna hit the X, remove that, hit okay. So now we have a contact form. We have all your language, all the verbiage, and we're done, that's all you have to do. We're gonna hit done. You wanna hit publish. And the last step would be to go back to admin home, your dashboard. And we wanna make sure this is in the correct spot in our menu structure. So we were gonna to go to site pages, go to all pages, same process as we did before, because now this page is gonna be all the way down here at the bottom. And it's already uh, active for you, so it is, it's ready to go, but it's not gonna be, it's, right now it's gonna be at the end of your menu structure, and we wanna drag this move meter into, I'm gonna put it right below my other move meter, just so you guys can see that. Um, you would only wanna have one of these visible. You, if, if, we, if you created this one, then we're gonna wanna go in and hide the other one, uh, because you don't wanna have two of those. And you wanna make sure you scroll down to the bottom and publish. And then we can go to visit the site. And now we'll see, it should say move meter two in here. So move meter two, that was the test one that we created. Click on that. And now you can see the widget populate. So on the back end, on the builder side, you won't see the widget. So don't worry that you've done anything wrong. Once you publish it and go to the site, it'll all be ready. There's this cool little arrow here that drops them down to the next section. And it has all the information of contact me, get started with me instead of saying us. So if you wanted to change that, that's exactly how you do it. Repeat those, go back a little bit in the video and repeat those exact same steps to create your CB estimate page and you can customize it. You can put more information in here. You can just do whatever you want at, when you create the, the second two steps of creating your own custom pages. If you don't wanna deal with any of that, if that all the second part of this video seems confusing, all you have to do is click show and show and you have these pages on your site. I think these are excellent pages to be sharing on social media as ways to get your clients to come back to your page to find out the value of their home, to find out um, this, the cities. I saw someone doing like a, you could do some creative ideas would be, you know, you could do the move meter live. You could record your own video showing comparisons from city to city and talking about the differences with those and then telling your clients, hey, come check it out so you can do your own searches. But giving them, um, actually showing them you using it and talking about it, I think would be a great video. But just simply posting these links on Facebook, on, you know, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever you're using, and you know, with a caption and letting your clients know why they should, you know, want to find out the value, 
what's the value of your home? Go here. I can you can find out. I think it's a great opportunity for you. But let me know if you guys have any trouble or any questions getting these set up on your site. But I think these are uh, great tools for you to use and implement and to put into your site and to share with your clients. I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <music> you.